Hello everybody, and welcome to the Unholy Smoke, a horror game where we're going to be hunting down the ganja of the gods, that devil's cabbage, that cannabis sativa, that lettuce of LaGuardia. We're going to be hunting down the toe of Tutankhamun and smoking it. But first, we have to get through some very horrifying experiences. But apparently, this ganja is so good that it's going to be making us see sounds and hearing colors. Hold sh left shift to sprint. Sure. And this is Russia. I know Russia by the architecture. This is Russia. The, I know these... <laughs> I've played enough horror games in Russia to know these, uh... These beautiful concrete apartment buildings. And we live right next to the power grid! Man, we're gonna be peeing electromagnetic green Mountain Dew for days. Awesome! Terrorists on the loose. Do I have a flashlight on? I do. Oh, and it's... Of course, it's F to turn on off. Terrorist on the loose. Well, we'll be able to make sure to look out for that terrorist. God knows what they're doing. Probably hijacking a train right now. Home sweet home. Why is there a picture of the guy with the thousand yard stare? Why is he important in all this? Press F to use flashlight. We kind of accidentally did that when I accidentally pressed F instead of D. But yes, what a lovely home. It has raspberry jam on the floor and rubble and... The ashes of so many people's dead relatives. Or spider webs. Maybe it's a spider nest from, like, Don't Starve. Hello? Man, so nice to have an apartment building all to myself. Oh boy, more jam. Let me just... Bleh. If only I had something to break these boxes with. If only I wasn't an idiot and blocked my doorway with boxes. Oh, hey, it's Negan's bat from The Walking Dead. How convenient, indeed. I got ammo. I don't know what for. And apparently I have a metal bat with nails through it. That's unheard of. Either that or I have a very rusty wooden bat. The choice is yours. Alright, now that I think I got all the boxes. I just want to make sure because I don't know if I'm going to be forced ahead after I make certain decisions. Hiya. 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 Man, it'd be very nice if I could jump. What am I? Like, looking at my mitts, I look like either I'm wearing winter camo or I'm some sort of Muppet from Sesame Street. hi -ya! E to interact. What, can I just go through here? No? Fine. Hold left control to crouch. Okay. Pretty intuitive controls. Pretty intuitive. Oh, great. Very homey. We have the old industrial barrels. This place is decorated like an Animal Crossing house. And I was hoping I would get electrocuted when hitting that, but whatever. You guys don't realize, by getting this ganja, I'm going to be able to see the matrix. Everything's just going to become ones and zeros. Alright. Do I really want to jump down here, though? This looks like a health and safety violation. Hey, you only live once. Where am I? What? 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 Legs? <laughs> I, I, I'm taking... What? Legs? God. Ow. He's winning! He's winning! I can't fight him! Ow! I should be able to break the lock. You don't have anything intellectual to say about us just fighting a pair of legs down here. And they were a nice pair of legs, but like... What in God's name was that thing? Like... Jesus. That was more horrifying than the Jimmy Neutron episode where the pair of jeans take over the town. Oh boy, shotgun. I bet this will be intuitive. Yeah, that's not intuitive at all. Uh, you know, I just thought because, you know, the whole left crouch for cr for crouching, the whole F for flashlight, I thought this would be simplistic. You know, R reload, L and B to fire. No, this is press R to start reloading. While reloading, pr press R and B to in insert a bullet. Press R again to stop reloading. Press R and B again to rack the shotgun. Finally, press R and B to shoot. My brother in Christ, we are here to secure weed. Okay, we're not here to play Desert Storm Insurgents. We're not here for realistic gun tutorials. Load and then do that. Okay, then save ammo. We'll break these boxes with it. Uh, I mean, I guess it, it kind of is intuitive. Maybe. Not really. I could see this screwing me over in the near future because I'm going to be like, hey, I should be able to press E and reload my gun, and it won't. God. 
Why am I even doing this? Who am I doing this for? The Russian government? A woman? If I'm doing this for a woman, then by all means. I'm curious. <laughs> Why am I surprised that's the outcome of that? I'm doing this for the ladies, you know? I want them to drop their asses on me like hydrogen bombs. Hello? Oh. There is a U in here. You know, this is Russia. Wouldn't you expect the people to be hooked on crocodile? Not out here trying to get weed. And for those who don't know what crocodile is, allow me to briefly explain. Crocodile was the ingenious idea that meth, heroin, and crack acts all came up with at once. That since they're too poor to afford the drugs that they're hooked on, they would just inject paint thinner into their, uh, in their... What the heck is that thing? That thing looks like a demigorgon from... Stranger Things. Long fingernails, like Aki's fingernails from Street Fighter. But they thought it was a good idea to inject paint thinner straight into their veins. And they said it gave them a really good high for very much cheaper than any meth or heroin was. The big downside of all this was that their skin started falling off. So they called it Crocodile. And even though they warned people, like, hey, your skin's going to fall off if you inject this into your, into your veins. They did it anyways. Oh, I had a feeling. What the? That took me out of it. Okay. What the? That guy came at me so fast. He had lightning speed. He's the speedster. He could beat the Flash. My God, he came at me like Jared Fogel approaches elementary schools. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That always reminds me of, like, the two stories my brother's wife always tells about. Two cases of uh, people coming into the hospital because of heroin-related uh, accidents. Where one guy was doing heroin in the passenger seat while his friend was driving. And they got into a wreck, paralyzed the guy. And the other is that uh, one guy didn't want to have track marks on his arms and in between his toes where you would usually inject heroin. And so, instead, he decided to inject heroin into his spine and paralyzed himself from the waist down. Are you kidding me? Jesus! God, with that throat, he's here to suck me like a Hoover vacuum. My God. Like, these guys come hard. They come fast. They come for one. They come for all. All right. Oh, what the? Are you kidding me? They're in the vents, too? Is there no place I have sanctity anymore? Like, just when I thought I had one place to myself, they come in here and take it. It's like a woman coming into the men's bathroom, standing up peeing. Unless she has a willy, of course. That's allowed. Willies are allowed in the men's restroom. Standing up, bare gina, not allowed. Yeah, oh, there's more of you, eh? Fine, come at me. Yeah. Get, oh, excuse me. Parted by rudeness. I'm about to drop this on you like a hydrogen bomb. Ugh. Call me Zar Bomba because I'm blowing him away. Oh, crap. It's a bit... What, what are you? God. Has anyone ever told you you look like a giant butt? How? What do you do to get that big? What PEDs are you taking? I mean, this is Russia. Home of... Uh, home of Dolph Lundgren. Uh, no, 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 no. Do not touch me there. This is my no-no square. Don't hug me. I'm scared. How many bullets do you take? Dude's built like Lizzo's career. He just won't die. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank Christ in heaven. Oh, it's a Jared Fogel! Alright. I think I've earned my doobie. Huh? I, I, I work all this way. I get slain and molested by multiple pants and Jared Fogels in the darkness. 
I come here hunting the toe of Tutankhamun to roll it and blow it, about to activate that domain expansion of Fields of Green, and you blue ball me like this. I, I, I'm not hurt by it. Not one bit. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.